this part's next on the chopping block. Um, exact same process as that. Exact same order. Chop out the mat. Wax it. PVA. Gel coat. Five glass. Pretty simple. Um, okay, I cleaned all the PVA off this with uh, the, just the garden hose. It just melts away slowly. Then I, uh, I wiped it over with a cloth and discovered that this thing is full of air bubbles. Um, so all these 90 degree corners, pretty much the whole thing, has got air bubbles. And, you know. But that's okay, I can fix it. Um, I'm going to use the stuff I used on the dash here, the epoxy. Uh, it's got brilliant self leveling capabilities. A bit there. I didn't clean properly and it sort of fish eyed on me, which is fine. I'll give this a, a light sand and another coat and that'll smooth all that stuff out. And I'll put it in here too, so I'll sort of stand it up. Uh, brush it in there and use it as a filler and because it self levels really well and is you know, an epoxy and it's high gloss I shouldn't have to sand it um, I want to avoid sanding on this to keep it smooth but there's a lot of air bubbles and a lot of repairs needing to be done The only reason why that happened is because of these 90 degree corners. Um, fiberglass doesn't like going 90 degrees. Um, and when I pushed the plastic up against it, it sort of delaminated these flat parts too. But I can fix it and still use it. So I just want to show you that. Okay, so I'll just... Um, Hit this with scotch right just to knock the shine off it. So that's ready for another layer of epoxy. I'm going to uh, give this a complete layer of epoxy um, to help fill in, but it will fill in these and um, it'll make the whole surface silky smooth. I used a little pick and air just to you know, tease out all the loose bits. Um, yeah, little bits of PVA left. They don't really matter. So I'm going to mix up some epoxy, apply it to that and this. And I'll show you when it's finished. There it is, all laid up. Um, I kind of ran out of resin, otherwise I would have put glass over that. It'll stick. It'll stick just fine. Yeah. Pretty happy with that. A little bit tricky getting into this corner. Um, that doesn't matter. Put extra, just like the other one, extra around the flange area. There and there. Yep, pretty good.
They're just the uh, M8 bolts with their 8mm hole, just like these ones. This area here on this whole build has been a thorn in my side, even when molding. Um, I had this wall built, put gel coat, and it was a warm day. And the, the laser light panels up there do not filter any heat at all. The sun was shining directly on it and it shrunk. It shrunk so bad there was massive splits in it. It didn't stick to the body. Um, so I had to peel it all off and start again. So now I've got a tent in here. Um, so that'll shield it from the sun. You can see the sun on the floor down there. Over there would be just like standing outside in the sun. It'd be nice and warm. Anyway, I've got another hurdle to overcome, which is here. So in there is a very sharp angle. So when I go to put um, fiberglass in there, I'll get air bubbles guaranteed. So what I'm going to do is gel coat it. And then over the top of the gel coat, once it's it's dried, I'm going to put a, like a fillet of a special mixture that I'll show you when I mix it up. Um, it's basically talcum powder mixed in with resin. Some people call it cotton flock. Um, but yeah, so this is what I'm gonna do now. I've got some uh, drips and things. I just gotta, these will pop straight off uh, with a razor blade. I'm gonna build a wall down here, just like on the other side. And I can glass this bit. And then I've only got the front bit to do. And then the mold will be done. Um, so I'll just show you the cotton flock or talc in there. There's a filler over the top of the res uh, gel coat. Okay, I got this one off. It took some of the um, primer with it, which is fine. There it is, off. There is a wall made entirely of clay. It's got little imperfections in it, which is perfectly fine, because it'll help it mate up to its friend that will be on the other side. It's reasonably straight, which doesn't matter. All that really matters is it's fully stuck to the body and there's no gaps underneath it. Um, I've kind of pushed it in a little bit and the gel coat will sit in there and it'll be fine. And I sort of built it out on the outside there. Yeah. So I've got some cotton flock in a cup. It's basically ground up glass. Uh, mixed up my resin. So I'm going to attempt to not make a mess and put some resin in with the cotton flock. Oh, so messy. I wish I had like a ladle or something. I'm going to mix it up. I've got this here. And I need two hands with this, so I'll come back to you. Here it is all mixed up. Like a thick gelatinous paste. I'm going to smear into this edge.
the fiberglass right over the top of it. The last piece of mold is finally finished. Um, made a little mistake on this one. I put a bit too much catalyst in for the temperature of the day and it started going off on me too quick. Um, so the first layer went down good, the second layer I couldn't roll it in time and I got a few air bubbles. Um, like, it shouldn't matter too much. Um, and I just put the third layer on and trimmed the edges. Yeah. Now I'll drill, bolt it, and then see if it comes off.